Hi everyone, welcome back to the Evermore YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my rant stroke thought of the day. Definitely a rant, this one. Um, it's really annoyed me. Surprisingly enough, it came in the shape of a talk sport interview, but this time it wasn't actually talk sport that annoyed me. No, it was indeed the England manager himself, Gareth I Love Middlesbrough and Aston Villa Southgate. That's right. Gareth Southgate has been talking to Jim White on the Jim White show on talk sport, and, and the question was put to him about this fella here, Jordan Henderson, you can see him there playing in an England shirt, obviously the, the sweet prince of Sunderland himself, the Mackhams love him a bit. He has decided to leave these shores and he's gone over to play for uh, Stephen Gerrard's uh, is it Al Akatife in the Saudi Arabian League. Now, he was asked a question about what does this mean for Jordan Henderson's England future? And uh, some of the shit that poured out of his mouth was unbelievable, to be honest with you. Pure rank hypocrisy. I'm going to unpack it as quick as I can and as best as I can. So what he said was that Jordan Henderson, you know, obviously sought out reassurances from the England camp before deciding to go over to the Saudi Arabian League to make sure that he wouldn't just be cut out of the England picture altogether because playing for England means so much to him and, and everything else. And, and he was assured that, that you know, it, this is the bit that made me laugh. Southgate said they would be mad to do that and rule him out completely. Um, based on where he's playing. I'm just going to quickly pause there. So that kind of bollocks right there. You know, I think when you talk about Jack Grealish when he was in the Championship, everybody was saying he won't be considered for England because he's in the Championship. So many players, when the teams got relegated to the Championship, jump ship from their clubs because regardless if they're, you know, the homegrown or the club icons or whatever, because they're worried about their England space. You know, Andros Townsend did it when he was at Newcastle. He said he didn't want to leave Newcastle and he had a real good feeling there. I wish he'd stayed at the time. And he could have helped get us up. I think he would have ripped it in the championship. But he was so worried about losing his England space at the time. Yes, I know it was under a previous manager that that, that he uh, he moved back to Premier League club. So that right there is utter fucking horseshit from Gareth Southgate, in my opinion. The, the only reason that he's saying this about Jordan Henderson is Jordan Henderson is one of his favourites. Same with Harry Maguire. Same with Mason Mount. These two couldn't kick their own arse in the Premier League last season. Maguire's that bad. His new goalkeeper's even given him shit. He's that bad. He's still not a starter for Manchester United. You know, he's going to get sold, I'm sure, this window. Manchester United are gasping to sell him. Mason Mount has just gone to Manchester United. If he doesn't start for Manchester United week in, week out and score goals and, and play well and everything else, will he still be in England squad? Probably, because Southgate doesn't pick on form. Calvin Phillips barely kicked his own arse at all for Manchester City. You know, I think there's fans that have stood in the pitch more than, Man than fucking Calvin Phillips has for Manchester City, but he's still getting in the England squad. So, if you're a Southgate favourite, he will play regardless, regardless of how off form you are, regardless of you know what club you've got to, what lack of game time you're having, regardless of the fact you're 33 years old and your legs are gone, uh, he'll still pick you by the sound of it. And if you're playing in a substandard league, it's basically a glorified football retirement home, which is what the Saudi Arabian League is. And we've said that before, and I'll say it again. You know, so this bollocks coming out of Southgate's mouth is absolutely beyond belief. It really is. He's talking about. You know, not judging the play, he's looking at his body and he's looking at the, you know, the standards he's playing at. And this is the bit that really got me. So he says, you know, obviously we can't judge him by playing Champions League football. And that's how we'd normally measure him. OK, Gareth, well, remember that sentence when you call up your next England squad and a couple of boys right here who are Champions League footballers probably won't be in your squad. I'm going to start with one right now, Sean Longstaff, who's probably the most likely replacement for Jordan Henderson in England squad. Engine runs for days. He can tackle, he can score goals, he can get involved with the play, he can break up, he can he can start moves and everything else. He had a phenomenal season for Newcastle United last season, the best season he's had in his career. He's 25 years old. He's got way more energy than Jordan Henderson has. And if you look at his stats as well, his actual stats per game, certainly from that defensive midfielder quality, is comparable with Henderson. So Henderson on FB ref is, is uh, got 1.49 tackles per 90 minutes, 0.92 interceptions, 0.88 blocks. Uh, and if you look at Sean Longstaff, Sean Longstaff is 0.15 uh, tackles, uh, 1.25 blocks and 0.57 interceptions. And he's 25 years old, Gareth. He's not 33 years old. He can get up and down the pitch. So here's a novel thought. Why don't you look at a player, like you just said, who's playing in the Premier League, who's playing in the Champions League, and maybe consider him for your squad as opposed to 33-year-old knacker job 
who's off playing in a, in a retirement home getting 700 grand a week. So that's number one. That I'm talking about what it means for our lads at our squad who've just come off the back of a phenomenal football season and are going to go into next season and maybe play even better than they did last season. Will they get in the England squad? Will the bollocks probably while this fraud's in charge? Yes, he's done well in tournaments and everything else, but the seeds to get to the tournament is absolutely shit. He might as well play an Aldi or Little Eleven. Um, that's how hard it is for England to qualify for these tournaments. I know I'm probably not the right person for the podcast to talk about this, given my origins of North of the Border, but I'm talking about this as a football fan. This guy has just got the most ridiculous favourite selection policy for an international manager I've ever seen in my life. So moving on to the next player who should have a spot in the England squad, in my opinion, is this lad right here, Joe Willick. Joe Willick was phenomenal for Newcastle United last season. I'm shocked that he wasn't in the England squad ahead of a Mason Mount, a Conor Gallagher, um, players like that. I'm absolutely astounded, let alone a Jordan Henderson. You know, in, in, in you know, Willick, Willick is, I think Willick's about a similar age, is he not? Let me just check. Yeah, Willick's, uh, Willick's 23, actually. He's even younger than Longstaff. So he's 10 years younger than Jordan Henderson. 10 years younger. He's got pace to burn. He's great at running with the ball. The assist he hit for Isaac alone last season should show you his quality he's got by creating in the final third. He can score goals as well. Eddie Howe's turned him into a pressing player that can win you the ball back. He tracks back. He's, he's more or less a complete midfielder. If he got a few more goals, if he got maybe 10 goals a season, I think he would be a complete midfielder. And that could be what Joe Willock's target is this season. But these two lads will probably not get a sniff at all for the England squad. Same when you were talking about last season with Maguire being utterly shit. Looked like a pub team centre-half. Could Dan Byrne get a sniff? Could he bollocks? Not at all. Yes, Trippy is in. Yes, Pope's in. Pope is probably the best English goalkeeper in the league, in my opinion. He's got to be in the squad. If you didn't pick Nick Pope, he'd probably be out of the job. Trippier, arguably the best right back in the Premier League. I know there's competition there, but look at what he did. Look at his numbers. Look at his assists. He was part of the best defence in the Premier League. Trippier's got to be in. But then Wilson gets in as well. Wilson's a great goal scorer. Outside of Harry Kane, England don't really have many natural goal scorers. They really don't. So Wilson has to be in when he's fit. It's either Wilson or Tony, and unfortunately Tony spends more time in the bookies than he does on a football pitch. So that's why Callum Wilson is in the England squad. But looking at these two lads right here, Jordan Henderson is past his sell by date. He's been a phenomenal player, right? I'm not going to dismiss that, right? I'm not having a go at him. You, you think I'm being anti-Henderson because he's a Mackham and all that. I'm not at all. He's been a brilliant, brilliant captain for Liverpool and he's been a brilliant player for England as well, right? But his best days are way behind him. It happens to every single player. It's happened to better players than Jordan Henderson, David Beckham, Frank Lampard, Stephen Gerrard. Obviously, Paul Scholes is a different scenario altogether because he got pissed off and he went early. But those three players in the main, Stephen Gerrard, Beckham, Lampard, those players got to the sell by date. They were moved on and the younger players were brought through. Likes of Henderson. And this is exactly what needs to happen right here. Gareth Southgate needs to stop having favourites and hanging on to these bloody players for too long, especially ones who are off form, not even getting picked by their squad, by their club. is absolutely a joke, really, isn't it, national managers? That really pissed me off. And I just want to jump on and give you my take on that. And I really hope our lads get the credit they deserve and get England call-ups this season for their hard efforts and their quality on the pitch as well. So if you get yourself up to St James's Park, watch the game and and call the lads up for God's sake, honestly. I even lost my train of thought that I was that annoyed. But that's me done for my rant of the day. This is the kind of thing that you guys like. Smash that button, come and subscribe. We're over 4,400 subs now. Can you change this mark? So, yeah, 4,400 subs. But we're pushing up towards that 4,500. Once we get there, we're going to announce what the 5K giveaway prize is. And you definitely want to be in it to win it because that is a belter of a prize. And uh, talking about England, this is a quality former England national as well. A little clip there for you. But, yeah, smash that button. Come and join us, guys. Like the video. Help get it on YouTube. That's me done for another rant. I'm sure I'll be back soon with another one. And we'll catch you later. Cheers. Bye-bye.